please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Hump Day, March 26th. I'm Jazzy J here with your morning news. There will be after-school rehearsal today for 9th through 12th grade band members from 2.30 to 3.15. Attention NHS students, today's meeting is designated for the students going to the elementary school on Friday. We will be going over and practicing the lessons your groups have created. You do not have to attend this week unless you are in one of the groups that will travel to the elementary school. Please note, however, that all permission slips for next Tuesday's mentoring program are due by today. The girls varsity soccer team will be holding an open gym session on Saturday, March 29th from 12 to 2 p.m. in the high school gymnasium. All girls in grades 8 through 11 who are considering playing varsity girls soccer next season are invited to attend. Middle school students entered a contest for the Daily American, Who I Admire, or Design and Ad contest, and the following were selected as winners. First place winner, Mara Chappie. Sec second place, Olivia Bassett. Third place, Carolyn Telfer. An honorable mention goes to Jonathan Guetta, Adelina Campitel, and Rosie Helbig, and Olivia Bassett. Congratulations to those students. Today for lunch, we are having a rambler, tater tots, wedding soup, fresh fruit, and chilled pears. Tomorrow for breakfast, we are having a small peanut butter and jelly sandwich, assorted cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks and have a great day. Hey, Dance with Devin here again. You can find this paper in the office. Sign up and see if you can outdance me. Join our dance battle by signing up in the office to participate in our school-wide dance battle. You could have the chance to dance against The Dance in Devon. Sign up in the office and let's get this party started. This Day in History by Nadine Carr. In 1804, Congress orders the removal of Indians east of the Mississippi to Louisiana. In 1859 was the first sighting of Vulcan, a planet which was thought to orbit inside Mercury. And in 1943, the first woman to receive the Air Medal was U.S. Army Nurse Elsie S. Ott. Today is Manatee Appreciation Day. Manatees are marine mammals that can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They are typically pretty slow, but they can swim up to 20 miles per hour. Manatees do not have eyelashes and their eyes close in a circular motion such like a camera. Today's horoscope is Scorpio. A conflict arises out of two opposing ideas. You are firmly in one camp, but you may not be able to see a way out of this tussle. Look to a wise friend or, co or colleague to, ra to rise above it all. Hello, I'm Michael Dar Ashley here with your daily forecast. Why is the river rich? Because it has two banks. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 25 and a low of 17. Thursday will be sunny with a high of 48 and a low of 38. Thanks and have a great day. Good morning, I'm Ramblin' Ryan here with your sports highlights. In recent news, Shaquille O'Neal is the subject of an open assault investigation by police in Atlanta after his incident after an incident his lawyer described as horseplay in a, which a co-worker was injured last year. No charges have been filed by the local police over the event. According to Robert Williams, a co-worker of O'Neill's at Turner Studios, for whom O'Neill is an NBA analyst, the 15-time All-Star, quote, ran out of a room and hit me with a tackle punch to the back, knocking me down and falling on top of me, injuring my neck and back, end quote. In the and also in the IndyCar series, three-time Indianapolis 500 winner Dario Franchitti has decided to retire from racing. Dario, who is feeling very lucky after his horrific IndyCar crash in October, will drive the pace car in the 98th running of the Indy 500 in May. Franchitti announced in November that doctors advised him it was too dangerous for him to resume his career after suffering a fractured spine, broken ankle, and a concussion in a wreck at Houston. And that's all for sports today. I'm Ramblin' Ryan, and have a great day.